Hi, Chuck Woodbury with RVTravel.com, and I'm here again with Larry McGaw of RV Comfort Systems, and we're talking a little bit more about his cheap heating system. And Larry, so what happens is people put in your system, and then they can heat their uh, coaches with electricity rather than propane. Correct. Save up using all that propane. Correct. Okay. How do RV parks feel about this? They got if this is fabulously successful. They got all these people coming in using electricity. Isn't that going to run up their cost and they're going to pass that along? What do the RV park owners think about this? Well, I, I, there's two issues there. Okay. Uh, one of them is, is how do the RV parks feel? Uh, I've had more than one RV park uh, owner come to me and actually ask for brochures uh, that they could put in their park about our product because they realize that people are going to use plug-in electric heaters whether they say to use them or not. And uh, their feeling is, and, and I agree with them, that an, unattend, an unattended portable plug-in electric heater could be a potential fire hazard, where if they have something that's designed from the ground up to be installed in an RV that's, got, that's UL listed and it's approved by the RVIA people, which are the watchdog agency that, that the RV people have, much like the building codes division for building houses, if it's approved by both of those agencies and it's directly wired into, then they don't have this fire hazard. When we report the news, I can't tell you how many fires we find out were right. caused by a space heater. It's either in the wrong position, it falls over. So, I mean, that must be a legitimate... Uh, right. A concern with not only owners but the parks themselves. So it would make sense they would uh, right. they would not want that happening. Right now, as far as cost is concerned, yes. Whenever you're looking at cost, uh, currently our system doesn't really use any more electricity than than an air conditioner does. And if they're not charging for air conditioning, why are they going to start charging for electric heating? Right. If you actually do the math and you look at the loads for both products, you're going to find that they both draw about the same. So the parks that are charging for air conditioning, yeah, may they charge for this? Potentially, yes. But I really don't see that being an issue because right now air conditioning is not an issue. Yeah, and, and it really there's a lot going on and, and you would cover this more on your website. Yes. Uh, if people go there, they can always get more information about all these things that we're, we're talking about here. Right. We have a real good frequently asked questions section. If they go to there, a lot of these questions that we're answering there will be the answer for them there and more questions. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Larry.